Assalamualaikum and greetings, Alishan Mal here. Welcome back to my little man cave and more RC battery chargers review. In this video, we are not going to talk about FPV VU 1S battery chargers, but we're going to talk about this HTRC Duo RC LiPo battery charger, which is a full fledged charger to charge your bigger RC batteries. Batteries from two cells to six cells and charging them at maximum of 10 amps. So, this is the HTRC T240 Duo uh, RC LiPo battery charger, input AC 100 to 240 volt or DC 11 to 18 volt. This is a professional balanced charger and discharger for your RC batteries. So it can charge the LiPo batteries from 1 to 6 cell. It can charge LiFe from 1 to 6 cell, Li Ion from 1 to 6 cells, NiMH from 1 to 15 cells, NiCad from 1 to 15 cells, PB batteries from 2 to 20 volts, and it can also charge the smart batteries like DJI Phantom batteries like Phantom 1, Phantom 2 and Phantom 3 batteries. Now who is still flying those uh, quadcopters? I'm not sure. Anyway, so that was those were the quick features. Now one of the most interesting feature on this charger, let me just bring it out quickly, is that you will not find any buttons on it. Check it out. This is the charger. All right. Very nice and neat dual charger. We have a uh, vent I'm not sure if there's a fan. I don't see any fan here. There's a vent. There's a vent here. There's a PC link here. At the back we have power supply connection. Uh, AC input 100 to 240 volt on off switch. And we have only one fan here. And you have a DC input 11 to uh, 18 volt as it says and a PC link here. Then you have a temp ports. You have uh, balance ports and power ports for uh, positive and negative port for batteries so basically two batteries can be charged at the same time now you don't see any buttons and that's the interesting feature I'm talking about this charger is that this is a 3.2 inch color touch screen LCD so you basically touch and configure the parameters or start stop charging the batteries using this charger alright so this was the charger here we have the uh, connectors all made up let me see what connectors we have nice we have uh, T connectors very good we have uh, XT 60s made very good which will plug on in front of the T connectors then we have the battery part and we have a DC type of connector that means you can use it oh okay now I found something really terrible so we have XT 60 male connector which will connect here okay like that and then you can connect it to your car battery to power it outside in the field now I was mostly interested to power it with a battery a lipo battery for instance 6 cell lipo battery 5000 10,000 milliamp I have big bricks 16,000 milliamp what if I wanted to power it with that not a right XT60 connector here so I will still stick with this one anyway um, I can still use these the red and black clips to power it on all right then we have balance ports okay which is very good because you have from 2s 3s 4s 5s and 6s balance ports here after that of course uh, cable for it to power through your ordinary home power so i have a 3s battery 4s battery 5s battery and a 6s battery so we'll, we'll charge them one by one and see how it goes for the demonstration first off let's power it on and hope there's no blast t240 dual on the screen awesome now i have to focus on the screen all right so this is the screen of t240 dual uh, you have channel one and channel two we have lipo life lilo lihv niamh nicat pb smart uh, settings memory monitor and calibration okay so let's go to the settings oh very nice the touch screen works really fast and quick buzzer volume middle okay that's public settings then we have low input voltage 10 volt okay we have balance of speed normal let's see what else we have here slow fast so we have fast normal and slow so we'll just keep it uh, balance of speed to normal okay 
Then we have AC power on channel 1 and channel 2. All right, let's say we can change it to 74, 76. Oh, okay. So basically you can distribute which, how much power you want to give to channel 1 and channel 2. So basically right now it's balanced. That means 75 watt to left and 75 watt to the right. Okay, then we go to channel 1 settings and we have initial and we have internal temperature cut off, capacity cut off, exterior temperature cut off, and safety time. 240 minutes okay and channel 2 should have the same settings should you want to change these settings you can always change them I'll save and exit and uh, memory we, we don't want to touch the memory at the moment because possibly that is for you to store your preferred settings now let me see we can always have channel 2 or channel 1 all right and uh, I'm, I'm going to put down and click on lipo and once we come to the lipo it has battery cell detection auto which I would like to keep it auto and voltage 4.2 volts which I can change to higher voltage if I want to charge high volt batteries but then I have to basically go to the lie HV if I go to lie HV I automatically get 4.35 volts so you can push your batteries to those volts alright so we're gonna go to lipo on channel 1 and keep it to 4.2 oh charge current 4.6 a well why 4.6 a uh, let's say I'll just uh, make it 5 amp anyway all right charge current 5 amp discharge current invalid because we are not discharging first off I'm gonna connect a battery all right which is a 3 cell battery it's not charged I need to charge it here and it has a T connector so I'm just going to connect it to the T connector. All right. I'm going to I'm going to connect a 4S battery to the channel 2 port using an XT60 connector. On channel 1 I have a LiPo. It detected 3 cell automatically, okay? Uh, 4.2 volt maximum and charge current I'll just uh, uh, that is a 2200 milliamp battery so I will actually put it down to 2.2 amp okay and I'm gonna balance charge it so you have options of charging balance charging or discharging I'm gonna balance charge it so I'm gonna say start and now I'm on the monitor and it is showing that the it's being charged okay nice and we have a graph showing right here how it's being charged very good cell voltages ooh it's always already fully charged battery <laughs> almost <laughs> all right go to channel 2 lipo battery sorry go to channel 2 lipo battery it detects 4s okay and it's a 1500 milliamps so i'm just going to go down to 1.5 amp that's my practice according to the milliamp I set the current uh, okay balance charge start and see the cell voltage okay yeah this is the battery which is not fully charged okay it's just charging so you can see how the 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 power is filling up in each cell it's going up slowly all right back and there's a there's a there's more information and there's a graph being built we can go to channel one the graph is still going on cells are completely filling up uh, one of the cells shows two of the cells are showing me 4.15 4.15 anyway so we're gonna go back channel 2 so you, you can actually keep watching which is very very nice basically so now I'm gonna leave these to charge the batteries and see how it goes and after that I will charge 5s and 6s all right, now while the charger is charging the batteries, I'm happy that I got another charger. I will use it and let's say after a month or two, how the charger is behaving and I will report back to you because you cannot just uh, judge a charger right away after charging one or two batteries and say, oh, this is good. This is good. At the moment, what I like about HTRC uh, 240 charger is the touch screen and all the nice info it is showing us on the screen the touch screen is really very convenient very quick to set up everything and it basically is working very well it's not very sensitive it's not very hard I've seen some charges where you have to actually bang the touch screen to get it to work 
but this one is very nice and very responsive as soon as you touch it precisely detects your touch and responds to those commands that you're touching on the screen so basically using it is really really very nice with this touch screen no more clicking of the buttons click 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 something like that it does a very good job with the touch screen LCD oh I got the I got the beat for channel 1 I believe so channel 1 is charged that is 3s battery I'm also thinking to charge my these batteries these are my paramotor batteries 16,000 milliamp 6s I'm thinking I should also I'm thinking I should also charge these on this battery charger on 10 amp and see if it is heating up or not anyway thank you very much for watching this lengthy video for HTRC T anyway thank you very much for watching this video of HTRC T240 dual charger so far as I mentioned I'm liking it the ease of use and the information it provides for charging the batteries how accurate it is how good is charging the batteries and what is my final conclusion well let's wait until I use this charger for over a month or more and charge more of my batteries not my batteries my RC batteries and then we will see and make a final conclusion after that I will put back to you that how this charger is doing